Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Cars and Coffee with Kenny Brown show. I'm Carrie. And I'm Brad. And this is episode 87 this wow. week. Can't believe we're at 80, 87. And Brad, what do we have uh, lined up for today? Well, today we've got um, some tri special tributes, happy birthday tributes to Kenny. As many of you know, this week was Kenny's birthday. Um, we have some information about the upcoming K-Link workshop, and we've got a little informational video, a little intro to that, so some people can learn more about it, and we'll talk a little bit more about that. Um, and then we have a special guest, Carrie. Sure, it's Dan Neve from uh, Cruise for a Cause. Uh, he, I recorded an episode earlier with him, uh, so he'll be on. He was on last year as well, so we look forward to talking with him. And just to let you know for upcoming shows, what we're going to be doing, Mark Houlihan will be joining us in September. And then we also have uh, Tire Tech coming up. We're trying to confirm it for next week um, from Tire Rack. We're going to have somebody come in from Tire Rack and speak to us about Tire Tech. So we're looking forward to that as well. So Brad, why don't you take it away? Well, I just wanted to uh, mention that with the upcoming guests, um, Denny from the Tire Rack um, is the, one of the most knowledgeable people that we know with regards to tires, and he's instrumental um, always in helping us uh, choose the right tire for the for the right car. And um, he's just a wealth of knowledge. He has been working for the Tire Rack, I think, for about 25 years, maybe or more. Um, he's always been our point of contact there for as long as I can remember. And Mark Houlihan. Um, many of you may know him, especially if you've, been, if you've been around the Mustang community or the world for um, years. He was an editor for Source Interlink magazine, which I think when he started, it was probably back in the early days of McMullen Argus before Peterson Publishing. And, and he did, he wrote several stories on Kenny Brown cars and Kenny Brown parts. He attended Kenny Brown um, events drove Kenny Brown cars, and and he's really just a wealth of knowledge about everything from first generation Mustangs all the way up through current Mustangs. So um, we look forward to having those uh, those guests on. And then we have some. What what do you want to do first, Carrie? You want to do some happy birthday tributes to uh, Kenny? Yeah. We've got we've got a video from Brian West, and we've got one from Paul Miller that we pre-recorded earlier this week because okay. they were in the studio with Carrie, um, as well as uh, the the interview with uh, with Dan Neve, which is a, a pre-recorded, by the way. So yes. how do you want me to start, Carrie? Well, let me just say a little bit before that. So I want to thank everybody that added comments to our Facebook page. Um, I was having a little bit of difficulty with Kenny's birthday's first big, you know, event that's coming up. And that's the first hour was worse. So I appreciate all the comments. I decided to not be negative or sad about his birthday and be positive. And all of you helped fill my heart with all the heartwarming things you said. Um, so Brad, why don't you t uh, place a couple of the videos and we have a lot of comments. We'll, we won't read all of them at once, but just wanted to share a little bit of some of the things that Kenny, um, people are saying about Kenny. Also, I wanna mention there's somebody at the Woodward Mustang Alley and I have a feeling that is Brian West um, it's, it says Facebook user. So Facebook user who is at Woodward Mustang Alley, please type your name so we know who you are. And so why don't we start with Brian West? Oh, you got the Okay, hang on just one second here. All right, here we go with Brian West. Hello, guess who we have with us today? Brian West, who uh, actually has what, how much stuff on your on your on your Roush. Uh, I have a lot. I think I got a total four point five now. And, over over time. And then he's actually owned a Cobra, uh Kenny Brown Cobra R before. Uh, yes. And wish I had it back. Whoever speed, has it. He is a speed therapy yeah, exactly. Speed therapy academy member. Uh so and he, and a very good friend. So he is stopping by to pick up his Roush that he just had Seats, seats uh, rear seat, uh, change some coilovers, mm -hmm. yep, and that some stuff. Old Kenny Brown 4.5, which includes the K Link. So, Brad wants to get with Paul Miller and take you any better with so that. That's pretty cool. But anyway, we have him here, and we want to. It's Kenny's birthday, 
And we would like, he wanted to wish Kenny a happy birthday, even though in heaven, so. So happy birthday, Kenny. All right. Um, I seem to have lost Carrie. And if anybody out there can hear me, just give me a thumbs up or put something in the comments. Um, sometimes Carrie's bandwidth gets a little sketchy when she's at the office. And um, if everybody saw the video from Brian West, um, please give me a, a thumbs up or a comment in the section. So it looks like Carrie's trying to trying to make her way back right now. Um, Calvin Goring, hello. Um, thank you for chiming in and saying that you can hear me. Hopefully you can see me as well. Um, Carrie has completely uh, dropped off. So I've got uh, another tribute. We have another customer, Paul Miller, who was in the, the studio mm -hmm. earlier this week as well. He has a Fox body Mustang that he purchased from uh, one of our other customers. We have a, a customer named Chris and, um, and Gordon um, who are up in the New England area and they own two Kenny Brown Marauder S's, two of the first 10 cars ever built. And um, he recently uh, purchased from Chris a mint condition Fox body Mustang that she had when she was uh, in her younger years and um, set in storage forever. And, um, and so he has resurrected that car and um, he is going to put a Kenny Brown, um, basically AGS 3.5 um, suspension. So it'll have an independent rear suspension. It'll have Kenny's um, AGS uh, front suspension and, and a whole, a whole complement of other Kenny Brown parts. And I see that we have Carrie back. So yes. welcome, Carrie. Thank you. We have a huge so nice thunderstorm to see you. here. We have a huge th thunderstorm here. So go ahead, Brad. Okay, okay. so um, we're going to play this tribute from uh, Paul real quick. It was pretty, um, pretty cool. And then we'll uh, move on and we'll talk a little bit about the K-Link workshop. So away we go. Hey, everybody. Paul Miller here wishing Kenny Brown a happy birthday in his Speed Academy and Cars and Coffee Studio. It's a great honor to be here in the presence of where he actually did his academy and his Cars and Coffee. I never thought I could ever be here, but here I am. Uh, and I really appreciate the opportunity. And I wish you were here to wish him happy birthday to him personally. Um, but I know he's watching over all his family and friends and especially his loved ones who care so much about him and what he's done for the Mustang community in general and cars in general brought people together that wouldn't have been together before. In my opinion, anyway, it's uh, hard to take something that's physically usable and turn it into relationships. And uh, I think Kenny did that better than most um, because of his willingness to share his information, willingness to share his knowledge freely. And uh, I appreciate it for one. And I know a lot of other people do too. Okay, so that was that was a great um, uh, little tribute there. Um, Sweet. And, and so yeah, so Carrie and I both had you know pretty rough weeks really. Um, you know it's it's difficult um, for us to get through, especially you know this time at, you know after just just losing him and then you know having to try to celebrate his birthday without him. You know, and um, so a lot of those things that um, you know all all of the things that um, that Brian said were, were, you know, very much true. And I know that, you know, Kenny, um, and, and I'll give my own little tribute here real, real quick before we go into the K-Link intro. But, you know, when I first met Kenny, I knew nothing about cars or racing or anything like that. And, um, I had gone to an event at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. This was before Kenny even moved his business to Indianapolis. He was still in Omaha and I met Kenny and Carrie there. And, um, you know, I was just totally awestruck because, you know, being a, a Mustang fan and having read about him in the magazines and seeing his cars, you know, firsthand for the for the very first time. 
you know, I was, I was just awestruck. And, um, you know, it's funny because I talked to Kenny and Carrie and, and they, Kenny was just like me. He was just a normal average dude, just kind of at a much, much higher level. And, um, at the time I was, I had like a job, I was working in department of defense, um, basically, and I had a Mustang and I wanted to get into racing, but I just didn't know how to do it. And, and when Kenny was moving his business to Indianapolis, um, you know, he was going to need people. And, and I threw my hat in the ring uh, right away. And I, I stayed in touch with with Carrie for, you know, several months as they were in the process of moving from Omaha to Indy. And um, lo and behold, they got the shop open and Carrie called me on the phone and she said, hey, we need people. And I, I was so burnt out in my, um, you know, spending all my time in government and, um, you know, in, in military bases and things like that. I just, you know, I needed a, a break. And for whatever reason, Kenny and Carrie saw enough in me to, to give me an opportunity. And away we went. And that was in 1995, I think. And, um, you know, he, he really taught me everything that I know. Um, and I knew nothing. I was about as green as it could get. And every single opportunity that I have ever had in my career in the automotive industry, the aftermarket and professional racing, he is 100% responsible for all of that. I did none of that on my own. He taught me literally everything that I know. And, and Carrie taught me, you know, an immense, the, the knowledge that she gave to me was just, you know, worth a million dollars. So I, I was, I was lucky. Um, that I had developed that relationship and with them, I was lucky that I met them at the right time. And, you know, everything that, um, he taught me, um, you know, really lives on today. And, um, you know, in many ways, I feel like I'm sort of an extension of him because I spent, you know, literally the last 20 plus years of my life around him, with him, working at the racetrack, building cars, developing cars um working with with customers and um you know and i and i went on um to do some other great things outside of kenny brown but for whatever reason i always t we always tended to sort of gravitate together so we were always um together whether i was working with him or not we were talking on the phone um we were seeing each other at, at trade shows uh, see each other when i went to indianapolis and and so the, the greatest times of my life are, are arguably the times that I spent um, with Kenny um, or with my family. And outside of that, that's it. Um, there, there's nothing else, you know, as far as, as I'm concerned. And, and the cool thing is, is that he was the, the greatest teacher and the greatest mentor that I ever had. And he was a great teacher and a great mentor to countless of other Mustang owners, race car owners. And it didn't matter if you were a Mustang owner or not. Um, he was always there to, to support you. And, and you know, I, ch I cherish and, and revel in the fact that his legacy will always live on in the hearts and the minds and the souls of thousands and thousands of Mustang owners and Mustang enthusiasts out there. And, um, you know, he, he, he would never have to worry about his legacy dying. Um, because there's millions of us who, who aren't going to let that happen. And, and that's why we're continuing on um, with the business um, today in his honor and doing what he would do. And, and we have exciting things happening. We have new products um, in the works. So we're, we're going to be releasing new products. We have, we'll, we'll talk about the K-Link here in a minute, but there's, there's going to be a next evolution of the K-Link. We're, we're in the process of develop, developing it for other Mustang platforms. I won't go into too many details right now, but um, you know we have a Fox body in the shop. We have a Gen One Mustang in the shop. Those are all live axle cars that the K Link could be adapted to with a considerable amount of additional work. Um, and and we've got other other cool things like mm -hmm. if everybody notices, I'm drinking out of my Kenny Brown coffee mug today. Well, this is a special one off that my wife did. But um, now that we have the proper equipment, we're gonna um, slowly start trickling out a whole series of other Kenny Brown branded cool little items like coasters and coffee mugs and, and our root beer float kits have been a big hit that was intended to be a limited edition thing. We still have a few left um, and then we'll bring those back out around the holiday time as well. So we're, we're doing lots of cool things, um, all things that Kenny wanted to do 
um, doing this all in, in Kenny's honor. And um, he, he's with us every single step of the way, every day. So I, I just want to thank Brian West and and um, the, and the other gentlemen for the, their kind videos. And, and we had several people who um, commented on um, posts that we made in the Speed Therapy um, Society um, group page and the Academy group page and on the, the regular Kenny Brown Facebook page. And we'll, we'll read a few of those um, once we're done with the K-Link K intro and before we um, get into to Dan Neef. So Carrie, now that you're back, why don't you kind of take it away from here? Okay, sure. First of all, for those of you that joined us late, uh, and are new to our channel. This is uh, the Cars and Coffee with Kenny Brown show. And today we are doing a little bit of a tribute to Kenny because it was just his birthday. And uh, it's just, we've received so many kind comments for that. Um, we're also doing a little bit, a uh, little tech, mini tech on our Kenny's uh, new uh, K-Link uh, rear suspension module. And that is just phenomenal. People are getting 11 seconds up to, I'm gonna say, up to 11 seconds off their lap times. We're seeing anywhere between six and 11 seconds. Uh, 11 sec seconds is from um, stock suspension to Kenny's uh, advanced geometry suspension 4.5. So and uh, Brad will tell you a little bit about the K-Link and also about the workshop that's coming up. Um, then we're gonna be talking to Dan Neve from Cruise for the Cause. And uh, just to let you know what's coming up on our live show, we will be talking to Mark Houlihan, uh, editor extraordinaire. He will be here in September, and we're hoping for next weekend to uh, have uh, somebody from Tire Rack. Danny from Tire Rack, he is an expert at tires, so we'll be doing some tire tech, which should be really interesting. So on the K-Link, Brad, why don't you take it away and show some of that, and then we'll, I'll talk about the workshop after that. Yeah, so for the K-Link, um, our friend Wes Dunkel, um, who does some work for us, and he's a photographer, video uh, writer extraordinaire. Some of you purchased his um, book that was just released recently from us, and, and thank you um, for that. So, so Wes put together this cool little intro, which just kind of gives you a general overview of the K-Link itself. And again, we're going to be doing a, a workshop. It's coming up, I believe, in 10 days. So pretty quick, and Carrie will tell you, uh, give you a lot more information about that, a link to register for it. But um, let's let's watch the video real quick, and then we'll move along. Kenny Brown Performance's new K-Link settles the old Panhard Bar versus Watts Link debate by providing the lateral location benefits of a Watts Link with even more grip than a Panhard Bar. The result is quicker turn-in better mid-corner behavior, and more forward bite after the apex. Kenny Brown's K-Link is an innovative, technically advanced, zero-roll axle control module that offers the absolute ultimate handling in live axle lateral control. The patent-pending Kenny Brown K-Link rear axle control module with its unique asymmetrical Kenny Brown geometry distributes weight on both rear tires all the time for maximum traction by decoupling axle roll from body roll in cornering, helping you get back on the throttle quicker in corners. The Kenny Brown K-Link rear control module provides the benefits of both live axle and independent rear suspension in one module and offers the lowest rear roll center on a live axle. The K-Link adds more grip, higher mid-corner speeds, and higher corner exit speeds. The result is lower lap times at the track and lightning quick turn in on your favorite twisty road. The K-Link rear axle control module is a simple bolt-on and can be installed with basic hand tools in less than two hours. The K-Link is precisely manufactured to fit all S197 Mustangs without drilling, cutting, or welding. The K-Link features heavy-duty lined rod ends, billet aluminum linkage, heavy-duty pivot bushings, and durable gray powder coating. The K-Link bolts to existing provisions on the chassis and axle. The only additional component is the right side axle bracket that is also a 100% bolt-on. Kenny engineers in all the geometry and designs the K-Link for a simple bolt-on application to get you up and running quickly and easily. Since each radius rod has a left-handed threaded end, 
adjusting the lateral axle position and the roll center height is as easy as turning the rods. Even though lined rod ends and bushings precisely locate the axle, there is no increase in noise, vibration, and harshness over a traditional panhard bar. The K-Link brings unparalleled grip, control, and traction to your S197 Mustang. The only thing faster than the installation and setup will be your lap times. All right, I'll stop it before the car sounds end. I love the car sounds, that's the best part. <laughs> of the video outside of seeing the suspension work and if you pay close attention to the video you'll notice that the body's not really doing a lot it's staying pretty flat regardless of how the the car's transitioning so that's just a little tidbit of what you can learn more about um how this thing works it's it's literally the most revolutionary suspension to be designed for the live axle Ford Mustang since forever. Um, it's probably the most innovative solution that anybody's literally seen in the last hundred years. And you, you can say that um, definitively because the, you know, IRS was, was out more than a hundred years ago, um, live axle, four link, um, pan hard bars, things like that. That was all out a, a long, long time ago. Um, and, and so the most recent um, development, um, particularly for a live axle car, is is obviously going to be the K-Link. And um, so some people out there who are, who are pretty smart and, and know a lot about suspension and geometry have referred to it as a Mumford link, um, which dates back to the 1800s. And in, in many ways it is, it's a modified Mumford link, um, for lack of a better term. But it's, it's never actually been developed or used on really anything from a production standpoint, the theory has been around for a long time. And in Europe, um, Mumford links have been hand built and installed on racing vehicles for literally decades. Um, and it works. And um, not a lot of people know about it, understand it, or are even willing to, to tackle um, trying to develop one or design one or in, install one on their vehicle. So, so Kenny has taken that um, concept, um, perfected it with, with what is now the K-Link. Um, again, a modified um, modern day version of the, of the Mumford. And so the, it, it's, we, we talk about it being patent pending. So the um, patent paperwork has been issued, but because he passed away recently, we need to transfer the name. And so even though uh, I think it was March or April is when the patent was completed and the number was issued, we're still waiting on the official paperwork um, because the name transfer. So um, Carrie knows a little bit more about that, I believe. And um, Carrie, why don't you tell us um, a little bit about the workshop? How can everyone register for it? Where do we go? Um, I'll post up a link while you're talking. Okay, so uh, Kenny uh, did a workshop about a year ago on the K-Link, um, and it was a very private showing uh, because the patent wasn't uh, um, still patent pending. And so what we're going to be doing is replaying his uh, workshop, and then we'll be interspersed in between um, just to, to make a few announcements and things. But uh, you'll be able to see Kenny live and uh, explaining his uh, passion. And he is passionate about this, so it's actually worth just listening, even if we have a 550. Um, but I just want to give you a hint. Brad's already given you a hint. If you have, uh, this is uh, for S197 uh, live axle cars, and if you have an SN95 or a Fox, you may want to pay attention to it. So, uh, because we will, we are developing, uh, uh, extending the K-Link to those uh, platforms. So, uh, the it is going to be. Uh, August 30th on a Tuesday night from 7 
p.m. till about 9. May go a little later than 9 if there's extended questions. Kenny will be answering some of the questions. And then if we have uh, further questions that Kenny cannot answer because he's not here, uh, we have a team of people that are going to be there answering. One of them is going to be Brad uh, Rich uh, from our staff. <laughs> that, you, you waited a little bit late, late Brad. It looked like you were rich. So, <laughs> Brad. <laughs> and uh, Rich Cottrell. We also have Wes Dunkel, who has done a lot of uh, installation and is actually working on uh, furthering the product to different uh, platforms for us. And we have our special guest, uh, Steve Calistini, who has had lots of practical experience uh, working on it and mod not modifying it, but you know, just tweaking a little bit for his track experience. So he'll be sharing some of that. But it's really worth watching. I won't go on much longer. Again, it's August 30th. The link is in the comments, and if you miss the link in the comments, you can go to any of our Facebook uh, channels and uh, click the link there. It will be there for you to watch. Uh, you do need to register. It's going to be on Zoom, so please register uh, August 30th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we'd love to see you there. I think it's actually worth worth watching. It's just, I think, I mean, Kenny shares a lot of information, but this is a project he's been working on for a long time and he's very passionate about it. So it's just, to me, it's just uh, really fun to see him like express his uh, kind of enthusiasm and his passion for it. So please sign up uh, August 30th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Brad, why don't we take it away with uh, the, um, what are we gonna do, Dan Neve? Um, if anybody has any questions, please uh, put them in the comments. And again, I want to let you know who's coming up. We're having uh, Mark Houlihan, uh, who is an editor extraordinaire. He'll be with us in September. And we're either next weekend, um, August, I can't think of the date right now, uh, we will have a, uh, be talking tire tech with Tire Rack. That's a tongue twister. Huh. <laughs> So don't want to say that too many times. Um, hopefully next weekend uh, they're just confirming with us. If not, it will be in September. So look forward to uh, some tire tech. It's really, that's a really cool session. Danny is very knowledgeable. knowledgeable. Also, uh, Brad, let's see if I have anything else. Nope, I think we're ready. To we have some, yeah, we have some people uh, join, a lot of people joining us. Um, today. So I wanted to give a shout out to a few people. Calvin Goring, who um, lives up in Connecticut now, he used to work for Kenny for years, and he is an avid Mustang racer, um, extraordinaire, uh, jack of all trades, and, and super good guy. I, I think the world of him, he's like my little brother. And then we have Joe Johnson, um, who's joining us from the great state of Texas. Um, Joe's owned many uh, Kenny Brown cars and um, is an Academy uh, alumni member and it's always happy to see him join us. He's the most loyal person that I I know. We have Rory, um, we have Jorge, um, we've got uh, Brian West I know who is at the Woodward Dream Cruise next year when Brian goes to the Woodward Dream Cruise for Cars and Coffee we're going to do a live from Woodward with Brian West. Um, we'll probably have to figure out how to get the technology in his hands to do that. Um, but Andy Menard is here. Um, Steve White is here. Steve uh, says that he's loving the naming of the K link. The design looks like a K and the K is for Kenny. And that is 100% correct <laughs> and purely by accident, I can assure you. So th this is kind of, you know, Kenny's not real cocky or real boastful, but he says the K link, he says, okay, first there was the Panad bar like for a hundred years or whatever and then there was the watts link that's been very popular because in the next revolution of that ev evolution is the k link it doesn't even compare to either one of those it's just revolutionary so um considering he's not very boastful that's what he says about it it's that significant <laughs> so make sure you sign up for the workshop august 30th the other person uh we mentioned brian west is an audience also fred francher's there fred your name's not showing up this week for some reason but I know it's you because you are from Louisville, Kentucky. So um, Fred's had some work done to his car. Um, Steve, glad you like the name of it. Also, let's see if there's anything else in here. Uh, good morning from Southeast Louisiana. That's uh, coming up as a drink, maybe. Is what? Uh, or no, that could be Bill Haney, actually. Bill Haney, I bet that's who it is. Yeah. Uh, so, so it's uh, lots of regulars here today. 
So I think Greg Drake might have, might be joining us from. I, I think he might live in Cypress, Texas. Okay. I don't know. Okay, cool. um, he just it just comes across as Facebook user. So he is uh, viewing today on the Speed Therapy Society group page. Oh, really? So, okay. We, cool. Yes. And don't forget, we stream on the Kenny Brown uh, main Facebook page, our primary page. We uh, broadcast live on the Kenny Brown Speed Therapy Society group page, and we broadcast live on the Kenny Brown TV YouTube channel. And if you're viewing on YouTube, the important things are to like the video, that's the, the thumbs up, to subscribe, so there's a button, you click, you subscribe, and then when you subscribe, there's a little bell that appears next to it, and you click the bell for notifications. That way, every time we do go live on YouTube or we post up new tech videos on YouTube, you'll get notified. And you might even get notified on your cell phone, and there's a way to turn that off, uh, just so you know. Um, anyway, we'll uh, move on from there. You know, again, um, thank thank you, everybody, for the um, the kind tributes. Um, we, we had so many of them, and I actually documented um, uh, most of them. Jason Monk um, wanted to wish happy birthday uh, to Kenny. He is the person that just purchased Kermy, which is Kenny's um, beloved green uh, car that he built for the SEMA show. And so he and uh, Kermy have made it to uh, uh, Road America. Basically, they started in out in Chicago, drove up for a weekend there. And he just wants to say thank you for all your hard work. And he's going to have brown bear for dinner um, tonight or last night. I'm assuming he posted that um, yesterday. Greg Cohen um, uh, commented, thanks to Kenny for making all my car dreams come true. I love Mustangs and driving a twisty road and a specially tuned car was the best. I used to highlight my map with the best roads to enjoy Kenny's work. I love the way he used to teach and benefited from his expertise. I'm so glad his big brakes always worked. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for treating me so well. Um, uh, and also, just, it, Kenny's videos yeah. do exist further. If you go to the Kenny Brown TV YouTube channel, all the videos are there, tons of tech if, information. So make sure you visit that. Sorry, Brad. Yeah, go that's ahead. okay. Yeah, all important stuff. So Mary O'Keefe, um, she sent a message to Carrie, um, but she says her favorite memory of Ken was her ride with him around Road America at the Shelby event. It was a thrill of a lifetime. Um, and then also she was at the 25th anniversary celebration at, at Putnam Park. So that's right at the top of the list. Um, for her, I don't want to leave Herstifer out because Herstifer is our Speed Therapy Academy alumni member from Bulgaria who used to get up at two o'clock in the morning um, on Tuesdays and Thursdays to, to join us for the Academy. He says, happy birthday, Kenny. Um, I never met a more passionate person regarding tracking Mustangs. His vast knowledge of the subject of Mustangs impressed me every time I had a conversation with him. I would love uh, to see how his uh, AGS suspension would have looked on an S550 Mustang. I miss him dearly and love every minute uh, I spend with him uh, teaching us how to improve our cars and the one-on-one -on -one, uh, consultations, which was, was kind of difficult for, for um, Hurst for sometimes being in Bulgaria, but uh, he says a part of him will always stay with me. And uh, we have Dylan Hawkins, another alumni member, says, happy birthday, Kenny. Thank you for teaching us everything you know and continue uh, to watch over us. Um, Mark Houlihan, who's going to be our upcoming guest, happy birthday, my friend. Looking forward to more of your right seat encouragement someday when we meet again. Um, ben Vollmer, who's joining us today as well. I don't know if he's on YouTube or, or where he's at, uh, says, happy birthday. I, I miss you. Um, Joey Jorts, happy birthday, Ken. Thanks for sharing all that outstanding knowledge. So um, there, we've got several others. Maybe if we have time, we'll, we'll make yeah, a few there's, more. There's a couple, yeah, there's a couple of really sentimental ones that I'd like to read now. We'll do it towards the end because um, Brad and I are still struggling with uh, Ken's yeah. mask. So Don't want to start crying. Yep. We, still, we still got a ways to go before we can cry. So the sad <laughs> part is always supposed to be at the end of the movie. So stay tuned. <laughs> They're really that. good and really good, so they're a little longer. Okay, let's go ahead with Dan Neve. Dan Neve uh, started, well, he'll be talking about it, but uh, Dan Neve is more or less a one-man show, two men, two with his wife, 
he and his yeah. wife. He and his yeah. wife. So they're, they're a two people show. Yeah, two um, people show. And he started a Cruise for Cause about nine years ago, I think nine or 10 years ago. And he has been raising money for uh, cancer, uh, cure for cancer uh, through uh, research. And it's phenomenal what he's done. So let's take it away. Dan, I interviewed him earlier last week. He couldn't make it today. Yeah. And, it, and so at the beginning of the video, there's a, a little bit. Um, it, it's the reason why we did a, um, a pre-recorded on this is because Kenny talks about Dan um, in a previous Cars and Coffee when we wanted to click that so that everybody had the backstory. <laughs> Brad, uh, I, 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 so I, I wanted I wanted everybody to have the backstory. Um, and, so, and so they talk about how, how uh, Dan and Kenny uh, first met and and um so there's there's five or six minutes of that and then it'll clip back to the the pre-recorded part um my, my cat's showing his ass today uh, for the lack of a better term. <laughs> sorry about that folks that's good on your brand new chair so yeah yeah um okay so <laughs> take, take now it now time. might be a good time to go to dan so <laughs> here we go folks well, hello. We have a special guest with us today, Dan Neve. And Dan has been a longtime friend of ours and uh, has something very special to announce today regarding a sweepstakes to win a GT500. It's actually a cruise for the cause, Billy Johnson, GT500, one of one heritage edition. So before I let Dan talk about it, Kenny wants to say a few words about Dan. So just hold on and I'll load up our Kenny and we will start him out. Here we go, enjoy. Introduce Dan. Now Dan is an amazing guy. Uh, he has what it's called a cruise for the cause. And he's been doing this, I think, uh, he'll tell us when he started. Uh, but what he does in, in a nutshell, is he goes around the country all summer long to different car shows, uh, raising money for uh, cancer awareness, uh, prostate and breast cancer, and he'll give you a little more information on that. And uh, he, it's just it's him and his wife. That's the entire the entire program. And I think over the past ten years, he's raised something like five hundred and fifty thousand dollars, which is pretty good a chunk of money uh, to put into cancer research and also uh, to awareness. Because he, he says that their mission is to support the fight and find a cure for cancer and research and to deliver hope wherever we go. Now, that hope ties into the GT500, 2021 GT500 Hope Edition. We'll get into that in a little bit, too. So uh, with that, why don't I stop talking and uh, uh, bring, in, bring in this guy that uh, you know, we've known, I know him for a long time, and he's just amazing. So, uh, Gary, can you flip the switch? Oh, there he is. Hey, I'm um, morning. morning, Dan. Good morning, Kenny. It's, it's good to see. How, how long have we, have we been known each other? It's been you know, you know, Kenny. I I, I can't remember. It was um, when SVTOA used to have track events. Um, I used to run. I used to run my Fox Body, and I ran my '96 Cobra convertible at uh, SVT on track events. So that that was the first time I think we ever became aware of each other. That's back in the '90s. Yes. Yeah. A long time ago in the land far far away <laughs> anyway why don't you uh why don't you tell us how you got involved with the with your with your with your cause your movement okay. um your movement it was it was actually 2010 um my mother my mother actually was diagnosed with breast cancer informed us in 2009 thanksgiving day is when my mother told me she had breast cancer and i was actually in the market for a new shelby at that time i was looking at a 2010 shelby and I had seen it when I was at the 45th anniversary in Barber Motorsports. I actually was on track down there. But um, December, January then of 2010, my wife was diagnosed. Linda was diagnosed with breast cancer. And it was just like the old Ford commercial with a light bulb with better idea going off. It was just, you know what, I'm going to get this new Shelby. I think I'm going to use it to raise awareness if I can for cancer research. That was kind of the beginning of it. Uh I was listening to you, not paying attention to my questions. So, <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Here we go. It's supposed to be natural. I know it's supposed to be natural, but you know, I'm 
if I'm talking tech, it's easy. <laughs> you know, when I when I have to read, I, I get kind of clustered. So, uh, oh, I I know you. Last year was like COVID time. You didn't do any events, but I think you did like a live because I know I was on your live. Uh, Webathon or whatever it was. Yeah, we we it was it was. You know, I actually somebody from Recaro Seats actually contacted me and said, Dan, he said we see you at events all year long, making a difference. And he said, you've got to do something because nobody's seeing you and you can't just let what you're doing kind of fade away. So I came up with a brainstorm to do Mustangs on a Mission, uh, the experience, which was ended up being a two-day telethon, online a thon kind of where we had guest speakers every half an hour and we were fortunate that Kenny, you were one of them. And I appreciate the fact that you, you joined us. Yes. And you still raised a bunch of money. We actually, you know, for a year that I think um, I ended up attending two events, um, considering a summer full of events, we ended up making a donation at the end of the year of a little over $60,000 for cancer research. So all in all, it went pretty well. Yeah, that, that's, that's really cool. Uh, you know what we forgot? Our presentation. I know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Carrie's ready. So, why don't why don't we go? We got a little mini 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 presentation here. Uh, so, Carrie can take it away. Okay. So, Dan sent us some pictures. We just put just a little visual uh, together so you could see. And this is, I think. This is the car you started with, wasn't it, Dan? That That is the 2010 Shelby GT500 that I got when I began Cruise for a Cause. Yes, that's that's right after delivery. And that's me. <laughs> and these are your three cars. That's, that's kind of the stable. That's kind of the stable now. So the picture in the far, far ground is the 2010 Shelby. The center one is a 2015 Roush Stage 3. And the closest one to everybody is the 19 Bullet. Well, that's kind of cool. Oh, you have a have a fox Mustang too. I, I love fox Mustangs. I've got one myself. In fact, it's my old race car. <laughs> oh, who are those good looking people? That that I think was in 2013. I think Kenny, um, when you and you and Carrie came up and uh, participated in our Fall Ford Fest in Wisconsin Dells that we host every year. Yeah, that was that was actually pretty cool. I mean, uh, of course, the Dells are always kind of fun, but that was a really really cool event. And next. Okay, everybody. This is this is uh, Dan's little uh, uh, booth. He uh, takes all over the country to uh, different uh, car events and shows, and he'll tell us a little bit which where he's going to be this year. You see that booth? Please stop by, say hello, pick up some merch, <laughs> as my my five year old granddaughter says, pick up some merch, and then and donate while you're there. So this is where we're going to pick up. Kenny's not going to talk about the, the car that you're giving away this year. Uh, so, Dan, first of all, last year you gave away the Hope Editions GT500. And how much money did you raise last year? I think it was a pretty phenomenal amount. La last year was kind of beyond my expectations. At the end of the year, we um, donated $200,000 to cancer research. So That's incredible. I'm just getting tingly just yeah. thinking about me that. Me too. I me too, because it's... <laughs> It's um, one of those things, I do work hard to achieve that, but it's not, I, it takes everybody out there who supports us and donates and buys the merch as Denny says, or uh -huh. Kenny says that, that makes it happen. And without that, it, it just wouldn't happen. That, that's just phenomenal. And I, I do know you work your, your little butt off and so does Linda, your wife. I mean, you guys are out at so many events. How many events are you doing this year? Oh, geez. Um, it started early, it started in uh, April. And we'll go all the way through till SEMA. So it's it's uh, at least a dozen larger events that I'll travel across the country to hit. Yes. That, that's incredible. Well, let's talk about this year's sweepstakes, and then we'll ask you a few more questions about some of like your Fall Fest, Ford Fest coming up. So why don't you tell me a little bit about this year's sweepstakes and then how we can enter and what, uh, I guess you have a little big, uh, excuse me, a little discount for we do. Uh, the people that are attending right now. We do. So um, first off, I just want to re react to the video that we shot last year. It was um, heartfelt to me to be present with Kenny during that. 
And, uh, you know, Kenny participated in our Mustangs on a Mission um, online event, which we're going to do ho hosting another one this February. But uh, last year we gave away a GT500, um, a 2021. And this year we're doing a 2022. And it's uh, VIN number eight. Um, and it's a Heritage Edition that we've worked. Uh, directly with Billy Johnson and Middleton Motorsports to create a one-on-one um, Billy Johnson Heritage Edition. Um, it's got a lot of special features. We've got custom catskins uh, leather interior, which is just gorgeous. I'm really proud of how that turned out. It's just amazing. Um, custom signature wheels. Um, we've got Anderson carbon fiber on everything almost. Custom uh, carbon fiber front fenders, hoods. Um, everything around the bottom, all the side splitters, we're, um, everything is pretty much what we could do carbon, we did. Uh, that's what Billy Johnson said, we got to lighten the car up because they're heavy. <laughs> so he said, wherever we can lose weight, let's lose it. So we did. Um, we worked with VMP Performance, added probably close to another 100 horsepower to it. So it's probably right around 850. Um, so it's a great car. And the fun thing is, which... I'm excited about is that we actually took the car to Road America and Billy Johnson was there testing a day. So he did some hot laps in the car. So whoever wins this car is actually getting a car that Billy drove on track at Road America. So that is awesome. Were you able to go for a little ride with him? I actually did. did <laughs> the guy can drive a car. It's, you know, it's, I'll say I rode with Kenny and Kenny's amazing and Dean Martin. I rode with Dean Martin and, and you drive with guys like that, that really know how to drive a car. It's, it's, it, it puts you in a spot that somebody who very frequently gets the opportunity to go and drive their car on track, you really realize how good the cars are and how much we as the drivers are lacking because the cars just kind of exceed our, our expectations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kenny used to, and that's sort of what we, we do build plans because we build uh, build plans for where people are in their experience. Like, are they you know, just beginning to drive? You know, are they street drivers, just, you know, mile track drivers? Are they, you know, joining, are they in NASA? So Kenny kind of sets the cars up for, for the drivers as they go forward. So I, I completely understand what you're saying there. But tell me more about the sweepstakes that you have. So, so this year's car, we will be, we're giving it away. Um, December 21st is the drawing date. So we have until December 21st to win it and, and to enter and hopefully enter often. Uh, but we're doing a special promo code for uh, Kenny Brown Performance. We're doing uh, promo code is KB50. So if you go to our website, uh, cruise the number four, a cause.org, that gets you to our website. And you'll see, you can click on the link to enter for the car. And there's a promo code and there's a code already in there. But delete the code that's in there and put in the KB50 because it gives you more chances to win. And um, I'm, I'm excited um to hopefully whoever wins this car would be ex be exciting whoever wins it had use the kb 50 code so i'd be so the kb wonderful. 50 code kind of tell me a little bit about what the 50 stands for 50 percent more chances or 50 percent more tickets so it's that's that's where the 50 comes in is if you normally entered you would just get one one ticket for the value, you know, value of what the tickets cost, but this way you're getting 50% more. So, so what is the, what, what does it cost? What's the value of one of the tickets? Um, so, so I think, I think we're, cost? we're, the entry fee starts at the minimum donation amount of $25. Uh, $25 normally gets you 10 tickets. Okay. So this way, $25 will get you 15 tickets. Um, so it's, it's kind of, and then it just multiplies from there. The more you're willing to donate, the more it mm -hmm. escalates into what, what the amount of tickets you get. Okay, great. So it sounds like you said 15, not 50. Here Correct. You get 15 tickets more. In, instead of 10. So you get 50% oh, okay. more. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Correct. You get 50% okay. more. Yes. I was thinking 25 tickets, 25 price. So yeah. I would nope. really, yeah. I, okay. So that's yeah. pretty cool that you get yeah. 15 more. So yeah. that's, that's awesome. So again, that code is KB50 and it's at a cruise for uh, number four cause.org. And so we're not playing this video, but I know that Kenny would want this because he did it last year. We are going to increase that that um, just so you guys can, uh, can really take advantage of this deal. Uh, Kenny, 
or myself, I guess, Kenny Brown Performance is going to throw in two $100 gift certificates through the end of, the, of August. So if, uh, if you enter now, you will be entered also to win uh, a $100 gift certificate and we'll be getting made away two of those. Uh, Kenny did it last year and he, he really believes in your cause and um, we want to help you out as much as, as much as we can. So and I, I think I'm going to even add on top of that, Carrie. I think really? um, we, um, everybody that usually tunes into this are track people or they enjoy driving on track. Uh -huh. And so what I'm going to do is the track day, September 28th, we're going to get into this, but we have a track day, full track day at Road America on September 28th. And it's $350 to enter to get into that track day. But if you register by the end of August using the KB50 code, I will give you the free track day. So, so not only do you get the $200 from Kenny Brown, you'll get a free track day. So hopefully we get people to um, enter and use the KB50 code. It'd be great. Oh, well, that's great. And Road America is one of Kenny's favorite tracks. Watkins Glen, Road America. I mean, those were his two most favorite tracks. Um, so that that's awesome. We've been up there a lot. Um, and that's a really, that's wonderful. That's, I can't believe you're doing that. But anyway, this is a really good cause. How much money have you, do you mind if I ask, uh, raised to date? Are you close to the million dollar mark yet? Um, <laughs> my goal, my hope was by the end of the year, we would be close to a million um, for total donations. We, with our $200 donation that we did, our $200,000 $200, donation we did last year, we, ex we were right around that eight hundred thousand dollars to date that we did last year that we've donated so of course every year i'm expecting to do at least what we did last year um but we'll see it's it's early in the year yet i mean we're the middle of august but we've got a lot of things to go yet and um see where we end up but my my hope is that when we get done at the end of this year we could do another two hundred thousand dollars for cancer research and we could say that we've hit a million dollars since we've started. So. Wow, that's that's incredible. So there's a couple ways to to reach out on this. You guys need to donate. So yeah, I can meet meet his one million dollar mark. I mean that's that's phenomenal. Two people, you and your wife, doing this and. Over how many years have you been doing this now? This this is, this is our twelfth year. Wow, and we've been wow. doing it twelve That's years. That's phenomenal. Now. So, again, how you can enter is uh, go to cruise for the number four cause dot org, uh, or else you can look in the comments. We'll have a link to the to the uh, Dan's uh, website page, and also you can uh, make sure you put in the KB fifteen. You said. They erase the code that's in there and put in KB50 and you get 50% more chances. So instead of getting 10 at for $25, you'll get 15 chances to win Correct. for $25. And if the guys that can do it, put in 100 or 200 or $500. Let's get down to that, that, right. that mark. So again, he is uh, uh, the sweepstake is for a cruise for a cause. Billy Johnson GT five hundred one of one heritage edition. So that that's wonderful. I want to ask you a couple more questions though about. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about your Ford uh, Fall Fest? Yeah. So every year, the first weekend of October, we kick off uh, Fall Ford Fest, and it's it started to in um for awareness because the breast cancer awareness month is always the first is october so we've always set up the first weekend of october and it's kind of the end of the season for show seasons um so we've been doing this now for 12 years this is our 12th year and and it's turned into a five-day event. Um, it's kind of grown to that. We've, you know, kicked off on Wednesday the 28th with a full, full track day at Road America. And then um, Thursday, 
Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we have activities. Thursday, we have road tours. We have uh, autocross school. Um, Friday, we have hot laps at the Dell Speedway. We have more road crews uh, tours. We have um, a reception party that night, Friday night. Saturday is the car show, car and truck show, all Ford. And then we have a huge banquet Saturday night. Um, I'm excited always about the banquet. The banquet, we seat 300, 350 people. It's a sit down, sort of a semi-formal, uh, we hope, you know, so it's seated, plated, the whole thing. We have guest speakers. Um, this year, our guest speaker, Steve Celine. Um, and I, in the video that Kenny talked about when we met last year, I said that the picture was from 2013. It was actually from 2011. Um, it was our f first year that we really had anybody attend as a guest speaker. And um, we've every year since, and we've tried to have somebody come in and be special guest. Um, and we've had Lee Holman of Holman Moody. We've had Jack Rouse Jr. We've had Billy Johnson. We've had, you know, many from Ford, Carl Widman, who's the head of Ford Performance. And uh, so this year, this year, Steve Salinas is joining us and, and the connection between Kenny and Steve was close back in the 80s, um, and we're we're doing hopefully a special tribute to them in an event guide that we're publishing this year. So if you can join us at Fall Ford Fest, we'd really appreciate it. And if you don't win the track day, um, if you sign up to be part of, the, we have three packages, the boss package, the pony package, and then just Saturday only. And if you attend the boss package, which is basically the whole event, uh, that saves you $50 at the track event. So instead of $350, it costs you $300 for a full track day at Road America. So if you have the opportunity to join us and spend the weekend, we would certainly appreciate it and love to have you, whoever you are. So, Yeah, that would be great. That that sounds great. We've been, obviously, to, to your event, too, and it's just fabulous. We were there during the earlier years, and it's just really, really nice. Ken, you invited Ken to be a guest speaker, and that was wonderful. Really appreciated that. We will be there again, though. Um, so again, I want to. Is there anything? Anything else you want to mention, Dan? Well, I think. I think just that you know registration for Fall Ford Fest. You know, if you can do that, go to the same thing. Go to the Cruise for a Cause dot org. You'll click on the event tab. That's where you can find the Road America registration or the Fall Ford Fest registration. Um, the other thing for people, if you get a chance, um, go to Mustangs on a Mission uh, Facebook page and register for that because we will again have the online event this next year the mustang on a mission three um this is going to be the third year and um we had um the first year was amazing we we shortened it a little bit last year to a few less speakers because eight hours a day was a little bit long we thought but we're hoping to do it in last year we had Ken, um tommy kendall and you know it was just amazing the people we had last year again so um, that's turned out really well and we're excited and look forward to that every every winter when people are sitting home and kind of can't get out to with their cars. And other than that, I think um, remember to use the KB50 code. Um, support support Kenny Brown Performance. Um, they've got great products. I've got their products on my cars um, and love them. And they've been great supporters of Cruise for a Cause and that means a lot. So that's kind of rapid. And, Consider considered Kenny a, a friend, and certainly Carrie's a dear friend. So, yeah, we are very good friends, and and so nice to have you here. And we truly believe in your cause. Again, uh, you get uh, fifty percent more chances. So KB fifty at cruise for the number four cause org, and you can look in the comments area. We'll have a link there as well. And Dan, it's just been a pleasure having you and on. And I, I I just want to say one more thing. You see uh -huh. that helmet behind me that that's that's actually what i used when i was at the 45th at barber um for the mustangs and that's when they had the mustang challenge taking place and you guys were set up there you had the rig there uh -huh. and that's i'm i'm proud that that's i've got kenny's signature on that helmet uh -huh. so it, it's that's kind of special to me and um so i just wanted to throw that in quick so that's, that's great that's good that's kind of rare so we're yeah. not gonna get any more signatures in fact uh the the gentleman that uh, Kenny signed a dash uh, when he was wasn't feeling well, and that was his last signature. It was on um, the, the guy actually had a fox body. He took the dash out of the car, mailed it to us. Ken, 
and he signed it. And we sent it back and I kind of let him know. I said, yeah, this is Ken's last signature. And what he is doing, he's taking that, the, uh, not the dash, what do you call it? You know, right above the glove compartment, the little that, piece there. Like the uh, airbag area. Yeah, where it yeah, would be, right. Yeah. And so anyway, uh, he loves boxes. So he is going to be building a Kenny Brown uh, Outlaw tribute car. So we're going to, he's getting a new, uh, not a new fox, but a fox body, sending it to us. And we're going to build the tribute outlaw, Kenny Brown outlaw is, tribute car. And he's going to put that in there. He just, that's fun, wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's just yep. thrilled that he has, not thrilled that he has that because you don't want it, but, but honored that he has, has his last signature. Yep. So anyway, uh, we will, I'm sure we'll be talking to you again and we'll have you on next year. And again, it's all the way through the end of August that you can get the free track event. Uh, at Road America, which is a great value, three hundred and fifty dollars plus just the experience of being there, and then uh, we're throwing in two one hundred dollar gifts uh, certificates. So uh, there's a lot to win. So make sure you register and get uh, Dan to that one million dollar mark of uh, raising money for uh, cancer research. So Dan, thank you very much. And thank you very much, Carrie. Greatly appreciate it. Sure, we look forward to seeing you again. Take care. Take care. Bye. Bye. And there you have it, folks. And um, for anybody who's paying attention in the video, um, the shirt that Carrie is wearing is her studio shirt. And so she doesn't wear that every five days or every day. She only uses that shirt when she's in the Kenny Brown studio. And the same thing with the necklace, too. So if you see her outside the studio, she will be wearing those clothes. Um, I want to give a big shout out uh, to Dan, um, and I want to thank him for all of his lo loyal support, um, and we love to support him and his cause. Every year we're involved with Cruz for a cause. Uh, Kenny was very passionate um, about what, da what Dan um, is doing. As many of you know, um, Ken lost his uh, son um, to, uh, to cancer, and so that's a, that is a cause that is very near and dear um, to his heart. And um, one person I didn't give a shout out to, I want to give a shout out to Ben Vollmer, who I know for a fact is watching us today um, because he sent me five text messages while we were in the live studio. And I can only assume that he did that on purpose so that he could hear my ringtone coming through <laughs> um, and everybody else could hear the ringtone as well. So thank you, Ben, um, for joining us uh, today. Um, Carrie, did you want to say anything else about um, Dan Neve and, and Cruise for a Cause? Well, I, I think because we're running a little, little long, I think just uh, look in the, uh, go to his site, cruise.number4cause.org, and make sure you uh, sign up for the sweepstakes. I think it's valuable for that. Also wanted to mention one more time before we get into a few more tributes to Kenny, um, is that uh, the K-Link, Brad, can you put the K-Link um, Link up again. Uh, join uh, the Kenny Brown uh, K Link Rear Suspension Module uh, workshop that we're doing. And it's August 30th at 7 p.m. So we'd love to have you there. Um, it was, it's a really cool listening to Kenny explain what he does there. Uh, Brad, I was thinking since the, these last three that we're going to read um, are pretty pretty heartfelt. I mean, all the comments and, and the tributes we've received are heartfelt, but these are a little longer. Um, I was wondering if you wanted to read one, and then I would, and then you would, just to, to keep us going without tears in our eyes. So, okay. uh, again, thank you, everyone, for uh, adding your comments to all our social media channels. We really appreciate it. It helped me get through the tough two days. So, thank you. Okay, so... Um... I'm going to take I'm going to take the easiest one first, um, and so that's from Mike Charles. Um, he's a Celine owner. Um, Mike says, um, Kenny, you touched so many people's lives. You left a legacy that will live on for years to come. It was truly an honor to get to know you and Carrie. Happy birthday in heaven. Godspeed, buddy. I will never forget this day. And he, he had posted up a picture of Kenny with him uh, on a cold winter day. Um, he'll say, he says, I'll never forget this day. It was so cold, it hurt. I wanted Ken to sign the car. He asked why, 
I told him it is important for people to know your history with this car. He was so touched he had tears in his eyes. You see, this was the first Mustang Kenny ever touched. The first win for Celine as a company. It changed Kenny's life forever. Ken got to live a life some of us only dream about. And so that thank you, Mike. That's uh, um, that's great. Um, it means a lot. Um, and Carrie, we've got a couple others. We've got one from Jason. And we've got one from Rich. I'll let you decide which one you want to read, and then I'll I'll do the next. Okay. Well, I think I'm gonna. Both of them are heartfelt. I'm gonna read uh, Jason's, and I'm, it's very long, so I'm gonna try to skip through a, a couple of parts on here. But it's it's very good, and I think uh, we'll read it. Rich's last. Uh, Rich uh, works for us, and. Uh, very valuable in the company. So my Jason is Kenny's nephew. It says, hi friends, Jason Brown, Kenny's nephew. I'm not one to post on social media and haven't since my uncle passed, but today I felt compelled to say something. Losing Uncle Ken has been so difficult. I tried to read all the posts everyone wrote about him, but it was just too painful. Uh, he's been processing this over the last few months and it's easier to talk about. All my life from when I was a kid until now, I was always fascinated by Ken and what he did. When I was younger, I always loved going to Philadelphia to see my grandparents and hear about all the cool racing stuff my uncle was doing. This was back in the 80s. My grandfather also had the latest car magazines with Kenny Brown's cars featured with all the pages marked so he could turn to them quickly. My grandfather also recorded all of the TV shows that Kenny Brown cars and uh, were featured on and we would watch them on VCR tapes. Uh, everybody remember VCR tapes to a young kid my Uncle Kenny was basically the leader of the free world. When my grandfather passed, I scooped up all those magazines for safekeeping. I can't tell you how many times I would read them over and over when I was younger. I spent some time going through them again recently. I have two uh, fully built Kenny Brown cars. One is black supercharged beast and the other is Ruby, a GT4 RS track car. When I was looking through the pictures today, I noticed how everybody is smiling when they are around uh, Uncle Kenny. For year, several years, I have been helping out with the background with the goals of being able to spend more time with my uncle. Uh, we are at, and then he's, he's what Brian, uh, Jason is doing, there's many people, and I'm not gonna really read the best rest right now, but there's many people that wanna keep Kenny Brown going. We are all very passionate about it. We know we wanna carry on his legacy. We know that's what he want, wanted to do. Um, I'm probably gonna miss somebody, but the main people here are uh, Brad, obviously myself, Rich, uh, Jason, um, and uh, Wes Dunkel. Brad, am I missing anybody? Kathy, Bridget, you know, there's just a number of people that are really, I mean, every other, our facility is, but you're really carrying carry forward the Kenny Brown legacy. Um, he said, my uncle has a lot of unfinished work and I'm committed to bringing it to life. I miss you, Uncle Ken. <laughs> That's it for me. I can't read the rest. Yep, yeah. yeah, that's okay. And, and thanks, Carrie. I know that that's um, that was difficult um, to do. So, um, but again, I, I said that we always save the the sad part and the best part for the end. So we, we do have one more from Rich, and um, I'll do Carrie a solid, and I'll I'll read that. Um, Rich has been with us since uh, at some point. I think in the late nineties or the early. Um, 2000s. He he came a little while after um, after I started working there, but um, he's an instrumental part of our group. A lot of people um, who are viewing today know him and have worked with him in the past. Um, he wears too many hats, um, so hopefully at some point we can we can help um, relieve some burden on him. But um, he says, in your lifetime, you get a few opportunities to meet someone that can steer your life's direction. Even fewer are those people that will take the time to educate you on that path. Kenny had the knowledge, the experience, and the passion for education in motorsport and felt he had to pass it on. From the early days of tire temps to the speed therapy classes, it was about passing the knowledge along. Most people would not have had the tenacity to push through life as Kenny did to spend more time moving performance to the next level. The hardest part of my day is turning the key on the front door knowing he won't be there. Walking around the corner to an empty desk. Gone are the opportunities to grab one more piece of knowledge. Happy birthday as we celebrate a life well lived. 
sleep well, my friend, God knows you deserve it. And so that's, um, thank you very much um, for that, um, Rich. And, and we certainly appreciate everything that you do um, for us as, as a company and, and for us as, as people as well. So, um, and I just want to um, also mention um, that uh, Carrie and I both do infomercials as well. So if, if anybody out there has a small company and you're thinking about doing an infomercial um, for TV, maybe one of those late night things, um, you know, on the on the Weather Channel or Discovery Network or something like that. Um, we, we both can talk really, really fast. So we can say a lot in a very short um, period of time. Carrie's a little bit better at that um, than I am. Well, I think you're pretty uh, good. Yeah. So, um, and thank you, Carrie. I appreciate, I appreciate that. Yeah. But so if anybody's looking for an, for an infomercial, um, <laughs> we're your guys and gals. Um, just, just reach out to us and we're pretty cheap too. So <laughs> well, Brad, uh, we're, you're we're not as well known as some of the others. So <laughs> we're definitely just as good. And so um, anyway, just to, um, to recap, the um, the upcoming workshop, which is going to be on August 30th, um, if you have a live axle S197 Mustang that you want to take to the next level, this is the workshop for you to join. If you're an existing customer who has Kenny Brown, uh, uh, has Kenny's rear grip kit on his car, which is the AGS 4.0, rear suspension, this is a workshop for you to watch because you can take the AGS 4.0 and you can easily convert it to the AGS 4.5 by just removing the Panhard bar and adding the K-Link in. Um, and um, and the, the workshop is a, is a wealth of knowledge if you just want to learn about something that's cool and new. Um, despite the fact that it's, it's been used in different variations over the years on, on different cars. Again, it, it is a dedicated Mustang product. It's revolutionary. There is nothing like it on the, mark, uh, on the market. It's lighter um, than any other alternative that you could ever dream of putting on the car. And, um, and I strongly injure, uh, encourage you to, to join us. And so, um, and I also wanna thank everybody um, for joining us um, today as well. So, um, Carrie, what else we got? Uh, I have nothing else, but it sounds like your phone is ringing. So anyway, thank you for joining us today. And I really appreciate all the comments you said in for Kenny. Uh, it was heartfelt and really helped me get through that day. Um, so anyway, we will see you next Oh, time. I, I also want to thank my brother for joining us oh, okay. today. Um, I didn't realize that he was even on Facebook and maybe he's viewing on, on YouTube, but his name is your mom. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was wondering who that was and that's who was just sending me a text message to let me know that, um, that his, his handle, I guess, is what they call it nowadays on social media, um, was something rather funny. So, so anyway, thank you for joining us. And again, next week, uh, we are hoping to have be live with uh, doing tire uh, tech with somebody from Tire Rack. So, so join us uh, next weekend or next Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then we have uh, Mark Houlihan scheduled for September. He's an editor and has wonderful stories to tell about uh, his days working with Mustangs. So take care and goodbye for now. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Enjoy your day. And thanks again.